Hey guys. Okay, so it's still Wednesday. This is vlog number two. And I'm going to probably give you another update tomorrow. Um, so yeah, daycares, that was that. All right. My next interesting experience was um, at the grocery store. I actually made, like, like, like I said, two trips to the grocery store. One last night because I realized that I needed some meat and fish. And one um, the night before. Now, the one the night before was good. Um, the grocery store is open 24 hours, so I went there late. I got what I needed. I forgot to buy some meat. I wanted to buy some chicken. That's why I went out again. Because um, that stuff I could easily keep in my freezer, and it's good forever. Uh, so I went to the Stop and Shop by my area, by my neighborhood, and I got a lot of beef, but I realized there was no chicken when I got there. I found out there was no chicken, none whatsoever, no chicken. The closest thing to chicken was turkey, and there was hardly any turkey, right? So I got turkey, and I got beef, and I got some fish, and let's see what kind of beef that I got. And, and by the way, beef is expensive, all right? I didn't want to spend that much money. That's one of the reasons why I wanted chicken. Beef is expensive. We were playing, paying regular prices for this. So what did I get here? I got a lot of stuff. You see, look at my refrigerator. My, fr my freezer, rather. My freezer, freezer is all stocked up nicely. This chicken, that was from before. All right? So that's my freezer. And here's my refrigerator. Refrigerator's looking good. I got leftover chicken there. Some vegetables, some kale, collard greens, some fruits. Everything is good. All right. I got a lot of pasta also and um, rice in my kitchen. So here's the beef that I got. Okay. I got some turkey sausage right there. I don't know if you can see that. Here's my turkey sausage. See? Smoked turkey sausage. I don't want to get anything that's too heavy because if you're feeling sick, it's hard to digest. Butcher shop beef. How much was this? This here. And by the way, I'm not a big beef eater either. I try to stay away from that. I don't really eat a lot of red meats. Twelve thirty-three, dollar ninety a pound. Um, I'm sorry, six for six forty-nine a pound. One pound, one point nine pounds. All right. That's the beef. This one here. I got liver, beef liver, 320. That's not too bad. 219 a pound for a pound and 1.46 pounds. One basically a pound and a half. Now that's not a lot. That's like two servings maybe. Okay. This one here. Beef. 1960. 8.99 a pound. 2.18 pounds. That is expensive. So I'm going to cut them real nice and thin and make it last. Serve a lot of vegetables with these things. That's how I'm going to make all this food last. $6.85 for my turkey. $2.19 a pound. $3.13 pounds. That's going to get me a few servings. Thank God I don't have kids and no, no other mouths to feed. So I know how I'm going to stretch all this stuff out. Like I said cook a lot of rice um, I have some potatoes mix it up with my leafy greens that I bought and uh, other green vegetables that I bought and that's how I'm gonna make it last all right here's my fish not too bad I got tilapia and um, I forget what kind of fish was this I think this is white fish I don't remember how expensive this is it's not too bad and there's my tilapia up there too um, TV dinners, I got them if I need them. Of course, I'm not going to eat them when I'm not feeling good because it's not good for you. Anyway, groceries are crazy expensive. And this grocery store, they didn't even, like, be nice and fix their prices, all right? I hope that they didn't raise their prices. Um, one other interesting thing was, like, we couldn't get any chicken, but I managed to get a lot of tissues. And this is not the only tissues that I got. I got three of the big ones just to be on the safe side and I got 
two of these. You see that? All right. I don't even know how this video is coming out because I can't see it. I have to flip my phone around just to be on the safe side. So I'm good for tissue. And it's weird. They had, um, I mean, that section there wasn't fully stocked up, but it was enough. Okay. It, it was enough. If, um, I would imagine that maybe by the end of the night, they have to restock that section. But there was still a good amount that was on there. Um, toilet paper, I'm good for. Paper towels, I'm good for. Cleaning agents, I'm good for. Once, once I'm well uh, and I do get the energy to clean, I'm going to definitely do it and disinfect this whole entire place. Um, but it was crazy. That was my, my shopping experience at the supermarket. Very interesting. Um, the other experience that I want to share with you guys was my experience getting the coronavirus test. First of all, if you have coronavirus, I would say it's definitely not a good thing to get. But the good news is that you can recover through your treatment. Look at it the positive way. If you get it, you may have to go through um, some time of quarantine, whatever, depending on your circumstances. The treatment may be harsh. Um, this is all from my understanding, not yet from my experience because I haven't gone through it yet. I'm waiting my results on Friday through, uh, teleconferencing, but, um, you know, keep your head up. If you do have it, keep your head up and know that you're going to get better. As long as you don't have any underlying conditions, know that you're going to get better. I'm just going by what the statistics are that the CDC is sharing with everyone and what the government is sharing with everyone. Um, the CDC says that only a very small percentage of people die from this virus. And the reason why they die is because they have serious underlying conditions, such as a heart disease, such as severe um, asthma, which I don't have. I actually had asthma before, but I took a test a few months ago um, called Methacholine Challenge. Find out that the, and found out that I don't have asthma. Uh, what methacholine challenge?